In this lesson, I'll show you three examples on how to convert between concentration units. Let's begin with question one. We're asked, what is the molarity of a 6.55% by mass glucose solution? Now, before we start answering this, remember what molarity is. Molarity is a comparison of the moles of the solute per the volume of the solution. The final units of molarity should be in moles per liter, and it's represented by this capital letter M. On the contrary, we've been given the percent by mass. And the formula for percent by mass is shown underneath. So within this solution of unknown volume, we know that 6.55% of it constitutes glucose by mass. The first thing that I want to do is represent this percentage as a comparison of the mass of glucose per the mass of the solution. So this number right here, represented as a decimal, dividing it by 100%, is equal to 0 0.0655. And to represent this as a fraction, we can write down 6.55 over 100. If you take 6.55 over 100, you'll end up with this percentage. The units at the top can be grams of sucrose, and the units at the bottom will be grams of solution, the mass of the solution. Now there's a reason why this ratio is important, and we'll discuss its importance in a moment. So before we do that, I want to calculate the molar mass of glucose. Glucose has a molecular formula of C6H12O6. So we can find the individual molar masses of each of these atoms. Carbon is 12.01, and we'll multiply that by 6. Hydrogen is 1.01 .01 multiplied by 12. And oxygen is 16. We'll multiply that by 6. If you calculate this correctly, in other words, multiply and then add, multiply then add, you should end up with 180.56, 180.56 grams per mole. What I'll do next is multiply this ratio with 6.55, because we learned that there is 6.55 grams of sucrose for every 100 grams of solution. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll take one mole over 180.56 grams and multiply it to the number 6.55 grams of glucose. This unit will cancel out with this and now we found out the moles of glucose. The reason why we want the moles of glucose is because the formula for molarity as discussed at the beginning is moles per liter. So I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator 6.55 divided by 180.56 and we end up with 0 0.03627. And using this number from our ratio, I can actually multiply this by the density to find the volume of water. Here's what I mean. So we have 1.03 grams per milliliter, 1.03 grams per milliliter. If I flip this ratio where I have one milliliter per one decimal zero three grams, and now multiply it by 100 grams, this gram unit and this gram unit will cancel out, leaving us with milliliters. Of course, molarity is per liter. We'll convert that in a moment. We have 100 divided by one decimal zero three and we get 97.087, 97.087 milliliters, and converted to liters, the conversion ratio is 1,000 milliliters per every one liter, we will end up with 0 0.097087 liters. Now all I have to do is divide this number with this number and I end up with the molarity, 0 0.03627 divided by 0 0.097087 gives us a molarity and rounded to three significant figures. Remember, this was three digits, 0 0.374, 0 0.374 moles per liter, or replacing moles per liter with a capital M. 
That's the answer to question number one. If you'd like to see the answer to questions two and three, make sure you watch part two of this series where their solutions are covered. We'll see you soon.